Hello there, everybody. It is I, Tony, aka TT Burger 88, and welcome back once again to TT Burger Game Reviews. Today, I want to talk about space combat shooters. Almost every console has had at least one of them, and most of them have been enjoyable, while others have been god awful. Today, I'm going to be looking at a space combat shooter that should be avoided at all costs, and that game is Zeitgeist on the PlayStation and PC by Taito and Acclaim, released in 1995. This game was also known as Jupiter Strike in North America and Europe, but I'm going to refer to this game as Zeitgeist because that's the original title. And I have to say here everyone that this is probably one of the most unplayable games I've ever played in my life when it comes to a game like this. It's like they could have made something great out of, out of this, but you know what, they just didn't. To start things off as always, let's talk about the story. The story goes like this. A mystic military faction called the Totequists is bent on ruling the whole universe. The Totequists have succeeded by conquering the planet, planet's neighboring Earth, and now their plan is to conquer Earth itself. And Earth's only hope lies within a young pilot who has been chosen to fly the prototype colloquial tier to battle against the Totequists and save the Earth. Now the story here isn't anything special or to write home about because basically the same storyline we have seen in other games like this and have been done better. Graphically, Zeitgeist looks great. The colloquial tear ship model looks great along with the backgrounds. The CG cutscenes also get the job done, and also the frame rate is very smooth without any hitches or so. The thing is, it just makes you wish all the same love and care went into the rest of the game. Sound-wise, Zeitgeist could have done a lot better. The music is great and fits the game really well. But the worst part about the sound is that there's barely any other type of sound effects in the game aside from your laser firing and such. And also there is no voice setting whatsoever, so it makes you wonder what is going on in the storyline. Usually I don't mind voice setting and stuff like that, if there's, if there's a game with no voice setting and stuff, but if it's a game like this and it like, doesn't tell you anything about the story, it's gonna be a problem. But that's just me though. Gameplay is where Zeitgeist completely falls apart. First off, I will say that the game is for the most part unbeatable due to the fact that the game is overly difficult for no reason whatsoever. Also, there are no power-ups whatsoever. No health, no weapon upgrades, nothing. I mean, for crying out loud! I know games are meant to be challenging, but this is way overboard here, I swear! How can anyone expect to be able to, to enjoy a game if you're going to make it overly difficult like that? And also, you can't slow down or speed up, and because of this, it is nearly impossible to dodge things that are in your way! And what makes matters worse is the enemy AI is unavoidable! due to the fact that almost all their attacks will hit you and you cannot avoid them about 90% of the time. There are 13 levels in this game and I was only able to make it up to level 4 when I reached the second boss which is practically impossible due to defeat because his attacks will hit you almost every time and you have no way of avoiding them no matter how good you are. say that much, but it doesn't change the fact how unplayable this game is. The square button fires your weapon, while the X button fires your lock on weapon, and the circle button changes your camera, and the L1 and R1 buttons look like you, like you do a barrel roll. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about this game. I mean, that's literally it. It is just so unplayable. That's pretty much all I can say about it. And now for my final demerit. Zeitgeist is a game that should be avoided at all costs, due to how unplayable it is. And the sad thing is, this had the potential to be a good game, but instead it ends up flopping badly. I give Zeitgeist a 3 out of 10. Thanks for watching, this is Tony aka TTBurg88. Peace out and have a great day, and avoid this game at all costs.